Yo, what is going on everybody? Sharik Kanasa here. So the five ways to guarantee e-commerce business success in 2022 and onwards. Exactly what should you be doing right from the beginning, wherever you are in your e-commerce journey to basically guarantee your success. Now, guarantee is a very strong word. I often don't use it because in life or in business as a whole, guaranteeing anything is not really expected. You can't 100% guarantee anything when it comes to business. But these these five things I've noticed time and time again after opening up multiple e-commerce stores, finding success with them, and actually even doing this so from so many years now, just from experience, these five things have come up over and over again where if I had these five things right, 99% of the time I was finding some kind of success with that e-commerce store. And this was not just me, the clients that I took on for my Google Ads marketing agency, Euro Marketing, which if you're doing over 30K a month and want somebody to run your Google Ads for you, just go ahead and go on over to my website at euromarketing.com to schedule a call with my team. But also dropshippers and e-commerce store owners that I've mentored. These five things, if they were there again, they were able to find success or at least have an easier chance of finding success. So without wasting any more time, let's figure out exactly what these five things are. But first thing you'll have to do is destroy that like button and subscribe while pressing that bell notification right on the right side because I post videos weekly and it helps the channel out. Okay, hopefully you've done that. Let's get right into it. So way number one to guarantee your e-commerce success, at least 99% of the time, is to choose a niche or to choose products that are either getting searched heavily or are extremely low in competition with $30 or more profit margin. Now I say or in this situation because it's extremely difficult, almost impossible to find a niche or a set of products which are searched heavily and have low competition. That's just now how e-commerce works because there are so many niches out there in the world, so many products out there in the world that if somebody's really searching for them, then there is an e-commerce store owner out there trying to sell that product because otherwise nobody would even be searching for that in the first place. So you want to really start to focus on choosing a niche or a product that are either searched heavily or are less competitive with $30 margins. Now, if you ask me which one I would do here, I would definitely want to choose a niche or a products that are low in competition with $30 or more profit margins. Because even if there's little search volume for that niche or those given products, there's still low co competition overall with a very, very good profit margin. So that means out of whatever the search volume is, maybe 500, maybe a thousand, you have the potential of getting a large portion of that 1000 or 500 search volume compared to going into a niche where it's extremely searched but also extremely competitive. You could have 100,000 surges, but you're only getting about 0.001% of the market cap, which is very, very low. Again, if you compare that to a niche and products where it's low competition, I would go with the second option any day, simply because of the sheer fact that it becomes much easier to scale a store like that, which is low competition long term. And I've dealt with clients who are in less competitive niches and they're always the ones that are outperforming and getting very, very high ROAS. And when I say high ROAS, I mean 20X and above. That is very common with a low competition niche. So you want to be definitely looking out for niches that are like that. But this brings me to point number two, and that is choosing an alternative platform that is undersaturated or not even saturated at all. That means don't go on Facebook ads, don't go on Google ads because there are so many videos out there teaching people how to do that. The more videos there are for any given ads platform, the harder it is going to be for you to enter as a beginner and find good success with it. Now, does that mean that 100% of the time you're gonna fail? Absolutely not. In fact, I recommend you still give those ad platforms a try but you will find it much easier to go in as a beginner and find success with an advertising platform like Pinterest, TikTok, Bing ads, and so forth, which are not really that saturated. If you're already an intermediate or an expert, you have tons of experience with this, and by all means, you can go and find success with saturated products platforms. But as a beginner, I highly recommend you start with something that is unsaturated, not, not really something that is filled with a bunch of competitors because you make your own life very difficult when it comes to scaling winning products or even getting winning products in the first place. But that brings me to point number three. And this is kind of a point that is something I recently began preaching in my YouTube channel, and that is to find a mentor or work with an ad agency, if you have the budget, of course, who has basically been there and done that. And that is simply because you save thousands and thousands of dollars of ad spend, wasted money as a whole, and days, weeks, months, sometimes even years of lost time. 
because these mentors, these ad agencies, they've already been there and done that. If, if you find the right person to do this for you, who has been there and been doing it for quite a while with a lot of wasted ad spend themselves, they are going to be able to teach you from their experience. For example, me, I've been doing this for quite some time now. I've been posting videos on YouTube for quite some time now. And whatever I've posted, whatever strategies I've found, I have found through my own wasted ad spend. So that means if I was to mentor you, you're not going to be spending any of your own ad money unnecessarily because whatever strategies I teach you directly, I've already pretty much wasted a lot of money on that. Try to figure out whether that is working or not. And whatever hasn't been working, I've figured that out as well, simply because I've been spending so much money on ads and I've been doing this for so many years. So that's one major benefit when it comes to finding a mentor or working with an ad agency. Again, I do run a Google ads marketing agency specifically for those doing $30,000 in sales and above. So if you're already at that level, feel free to go onto my website, yoromarketing.com and we can get you situated. But you don't have to work with my ad agency at all or you don't even have to have me as a mentor, just anybody in general that you choose. Make sure that they have been doing this for quite some time now and they have results to show you that they have been spending money for quite some time. Because if somebody is new in this, then that means they're just reading something off of a blog or an article or watching a YouTube video and then teaching you that stuff, which is something you don't want to be happening. You want somebody who has been doing this and wasted a lot of money figuring stuff out. Because again, experience is king. That's the easiest way to learn. But that brings me to point number four, and that is kind of different from point number three, but setting up a strong, powerful backend. Guys, in 2022 and onwards, if you do not have a strong, powerful backend, just forget finding success with e-commerce. You might as well just throw your money in the air or send it to me, and I'll greatly appreciate if you send me that money. I'll even give you my address. But jokes aside, having a strong, powerful backend is absolutely necessary to finding success with e-commerce in 2022 and onwards, because without a strong, powerful backend, you're not gonna be able to opt your entire system, your entire store to catch those leaks within your funnel. And trust me, in 2022 and onwards, you're going to have a lot of leaks because people now have the potential to compare pricing because there are so many competitors out there. So you have no choice but to have a strong backend where even if they get off your website after looking at a product to compare with somebody else, you still capture their attention because they get your abandoned cart in their email inbox or you send them an SMS recovery email and they get it on their phone and they're impressed with that, so they wanna buy from you. These things might seem very small and even when you're doing them right in the moment, they might seem time consuming and a waste of time even, but trust me in 2022 and onwards, those are extremely important things to have done correctly in order to find continued long-term success. But this brings me to the fifth point, and by the way, I have a bonus point at the end for all of you that waited until the end. But the fifth point is having a mix of different seasonal and steady products. Now, what does this mean exactly? If you go back and look at some of the case studies I've uploaded on this YouTube channel, you'll see that I've shown products where certain products were seasonal products, meaning air conditioners for summertime or heaters for wintertime. And I've also had products where they were very, very steady throughout the year. So regardless of what month we were in, there was good search volume for those products. They were selling really well during that time period. So having a mix of both seasonal and steady products is the way to go in my opinion in 2022 and onwards because during the times when your seasonal products start to die down your steady products can come up and capture those lost sales so you're not going from a big up to a big down and when those seasonal products are selling those steady products on the sidelines can of course add to your overall sales so that's really one benefit of having a mix of both i don't recommend just having a seasonal based store because you're gonna face that situation where you go up in sales during a certain time of the year and then the rest of the year you're just scraping by barely making any profits might even be in a loss and you don't want to have just steady products because it might become very very difficult for you to scale long term to big numbers with those steady products so that's why it's so important to have a mix of both seasonal as well as steady products but this brings me to the bonus point of this list and that is have a presence on multiple ad platforms in 2022 and onwards you have no other choice but to be omnipresent and be present on multiple ad platforms that means Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok, Bing. Now, of course, I always believe that you should master one advertising platform before jumping onto the next, but that doesn't mean you can't start basic retargeting ads on Facebook or Bing or TikTok and so forth. All those things are definitely gonna help you because just relying on one ad platform is the worst thing you can do for your e-commerce business in 2022 and onward. So make sure you are omnipresent, you have a presence on multiple different ad platforms. 
But again, if you're doing over $30,000 to $50,000 in sales monthly and you're looking to incorporate Google Ads or if you already are running Google Ads and want to take them to the next level, just go ahead and go on to my Google Ad Marketing Agency website, yoromarketing.com and book a call with my team so we can see if we're a good fit to work together. But if you find any type of success in this video, destroy the like button and destroy that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.